Hey guys, it's good to see you. It's Ryan here with DP Marketing Services, author on the book on digital marketing for plumbing and HVAC contractors, and also the host of Blue Collar CEO. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for stopping by. Man, that's a mouthful. Um, I come out this video today about something that's uh, kind of counter a lot of the culture and the conversation that you would see on various Facebook groups. So, like, if you're if you're plumbing, if you're an HVAC, if you're a home services company, you know how important it is to set goals for your business and to set these really big audacious goals. And unless you're living in Iraq, you probably have seen a lot of these Facebook groups of these guys sort around these crazy numbers, uh, you know, like $20 million a week sometimes. And you're like, holy crap. And if you're not careful, it's it's really easy to kind of sip into this stage of wondering like what's wrong with you if you're not just like printing money as quickly as these other guys can. And so I, a lot of times it's really it's really exciting it's really sexy it's a lot of fun to talk about these big hairy audacious goals and I, i've talked about it before it's been a it's been a minute um but about the importance of small but achievable goals like an s bag so if, if a big hairy audacious goal like puts a fire in your heart gets you out of bed and inspires you to keep trucking along and whatever your goal is right maybe it's to take over market maybe it's to retire by your 40 whatever these goals are things like you put in front of you and they kind of inspire you. But these small goals, the small but achievable goals are the ones that really are going to help you know that you're moving the needle. So here's an example. I was talking to someone the other day and uh, we are comparing uh, kind of their, their business growth trend. So they have taken over a business and um, in their first year of, of running it, they're trying to look back and kind of see how things have gone. And on one hand, it's really easy to look at that and go, man, you know, you you didn't hit 5 million, you didn't hit 15 million, you didn't hit 50 million, whatever your number is, it's ambitious for you, right? You didn't hit it. And in reality, if you start looking back at this particular guy's numbers, they got three times as many phone calls um, year to date, uh, as far as like comparing like March of one year to March of the following year. So you're looking at a three times improvement on like the amount of opportunities that your business has to run. And while that's not like this astronomical figure, guys, that's a really good improvement. In most in most sort of things in your business, if you can do like a 10%, if you can do 20%, hell, if you can do 100% improvement, like you're doing really good. So to get a 300% gain on something, that's something to celebrate. Is that something that you're going to post over Facebook and be like, oh man, I'm going to retire at the age of 40? No, but that's a small goal. That's an achievable goal. When you st stack up enough of those small but achievable goals, you really do make something really compelling. So imagine if in the same scenario, you had 300% more calls than you had the previous year, that you're closing 80% of those, and your average ticket is 50% higher than it was a year ago. If you start improving the amount of opportunities, the closing opportunities, and your average ticket on those ops, Guys, you're going to make a really significant, uh, you're going to make much more money um, than you did, even if you had the same amount of calls and did those things at the same capacity, right? So really celebrate the wins. The small wins are the things that are going to add up um, and really going to help take you to the next level. Yes, if you want to hit a $10 million company for the first time, knock yourself out. But don't forget the importance of having a solid $1 million, $3 million, $5 million, $8 million company along the way. You have to hit each of those milestones. You can't just go from one to 10 and think you're going to hit a striving business um, in most cases. So I am I would love to hear from you. Um, this is not the, you know, if you want 500 trucks on the road by next week, you can do it sort of speech. But this is the, and you're doing better today than you did last week. And you're doing better last week than you did last year. Like give yourself respect where credit is due. As long as you're making progress on the small goals, the big goals will come. So I'd love to hear from you. How do you keep yourself motivated? How do you keep your team motivated? Leave a comment below, guys. As always, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you next time. Peace.